In this session, I am going to explain three-phase inverter. And after explaining three-phase inverter, I will be explaining you how we can use that three-phase inverter as pulse width modulator. And at the end, I will conclude this session by explaining three-phase sine wave inverter. So let us try to understand what is there with this three-phase inverter. Here, this. DC signal that is what we are giving it to inverter and we just want to convert that into AC signal and here we are converting a three phase AC signal at output side from VDC. Now I have bisected this VDC into two parts VDC by 2 and VDC by 2 that is to calculate how we can have output waveform. So let us see what is happening in this. Now here we have three wings, wing A, wing B and wing C, these three phases which is what we are connect it, connecting it to three phase load which is what we can see it over here. Now if we talk about wing A, phase A, in that case we can have uh, VDC by 2 output in case of switch 1 is on and switch 2 is off in between V, A, O and minus VDC by 2 output is there in between V, A, O if switch 2 is on and switch 1 is off. Similarly, we can have plus VDC by 2 output in between V, B, O if switch 3 is on, switch 4 is off and in between V, B, O if switch 4 is on and switch 3 is off then output will be minus VDC by 2. In between V, C, O output will be plus, VD, plus VDC by 2 in case of switch 5 is on and switch 6 is off and if switch 6 is on and switch 5 is off then output of V, C, O will be minus VDC by 2. So that is how this output in between V, A, O, V, B, O and V, C, O is coming but our main agenda is to draw what should be the waveform for individual phases with respect to neutral. So here this star load is given which is what we are connecting it to this three phase. So here first we need to draw the waveform for switch 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3, 5, 6 phases. The reason is 1, 2 wing is 120 degree aparted with respect to 3, 4 and 5, 6 is 120 degree aparted with respect to 3, 4 and 120 with respect to 1, 2. So we will trigger, we will be triggering output, uh, we will be triggering these switches and that is what resulting into output uh, at VAO, VBO and VCO. So let us first draw waveform of VAO, VBO and VCO. So here I have VAO and VBO and VCO but uh, first what I need to do is I will be triggering switch 1 on and switch 2 off. So for first 180 degree there will be plus VDC by 2. So this is 60, 60, 60 degrees partition. So if switch 1 is on and switch 2 is off there will be plus VDC by 2 output and for next 180 degree switch 2 is on and switch 1 is off. So here 1 is on and 2 is off and here 2 is on and 1 is off. So we have VAO that is plus VDC by 2 to minus VDC by 2. So that is how these waveforms are coming here again 1 is on 2 is off here 2 is on 1 is off so that is what keeps on repeating now for VBO output it should be 120 degree aparted with respect to VAO so here we will start to trigger switch 3 and 4 so if 3 is on and 4 is off in that case plus VDC by 2 output is there and that is what delayed by 120 degree with respect to VAO so it's waveform that we can see it over here and then here 3 is on and 4 is off and if 4 is on 
and 3 is off then output will be minus VDC by 2 and again if 3 is on and 4 is off then that is what keeps on repeating so this is how we will be having output where here 4 is on and 3 is off and for third wing VCO it should be 240 degree with respect to VAO and 120 degree with respect to VBO so it should trigger from here so here if we have switch 5 is on and 6 is off then output will VCO output will be VDC by 2 so here 5 is on and 6 is off and if 6 is on and 5 is off then output will be this and this is what we keeps on repeating so here 5 on 6 off so here 6 on 5 off so that is how how output of VAO, VBO and VCO is coming now to calculate what should be the VAN output of phase with respect to neutral we need to understand initial circuit again so here if we consider our connection for a calculation of neutral voltage this is not connected actually but this is just to understand calculation so if I want to calculate what is VAO VAO so that is what algebraic addition of VAN plus VNO so VAO is VAN plus VNO likewise VBO is VBN plus VNO and VCO is VCN plus VCO so let us have these three equations so VAO is equals to VAN plus VNO VBO is VBN plus VNO and VCO is VCN plus VNO if we add all those three equations then that results into VAO plus VBO plus VCO is equals to VAN plus VBN plus VCN that will result into 0 so this will become 3 times of VNO so we can say that VNO is equals to VAO plus VBO plus VCO divided by 3 so now for a calculation of VAN again we can substitute this VNO value into this equation we can have VAN and similarly we can have VBN and VCN so VAN is equals to VAO minus VNO and if we place this VNO this into this then we can have VNAN that is two third of VAO minus one third of VBO plus VCO. So VAN value that is two third of VAO minus one third of VBO plus VCO. So now based on this we can plot waveform of VAN. So here as we have calculated VAN is equals to 2 third of VAO minus 1 third of VBO minus sorry plus VCO so now let us calculate what is this so for first 60 degree if we calculate this for first 60 degree 1 uh, 2 third of 2 third of plus VD, VAO minus 1 third of VBO plus VCO so 2 third of VDC by 2 minus 1 third of 
minus VDC by 2 plus VDC by 2 that is what one third of VDC so here there will that will result into one third of VDC again for another 60 degree two third of VAO into VDC by 2 minus one third of minus VDC by 2 minus one third of minus VDC by 2 that is what two third of VDC by 2 so this will result into two third of VDC by 2 and for next 60 degree two third of VDC by 2 minus one third of VDC by 2 minus minus one third of VDC by 2 that is what resulting into one third of VCD by 2 so that will result into this and again for another 60 this if we calculate this 2 third of minus VDC by 2 minus 1 third of VDC by 2 minus minus of 1 third of VDC by 2 so that is what resulting into minus of VDC by 3 and this is how again there will be 2 third of VDC and this is how it keeps on repeating so that kind of waveform that we can have so this is what we have at VAN and similarly if we calculate for VBN and VCN this waveform will be shifted by 120 degree from here on and that we can easily calculate now as I have told initially this is what this is not pulse width modulation this is just three phase inverter now how we can have pulse width modulation for that I will explain one single phase calculation and accordingly we can use that calculation for three phase calculation so here I have VDC by 2 VDC by 2 one phase right and what I have is I have two switches as we can see it in this figure if switch 1 is on and switch 2 is off then output across load will be plus VDC by 2 and if switch 2 is on and switch 1 is off then output at load will be minus VDC by 2 so here for pulse width modulation what we will do is I will be uh, comparing triangular wave with sine wave and then I will try to generate pulse width modulated output by comparing sine and triangle so where I will be keeping one condition that condition is if sine is greater than triangle then S1 is on and S2 is off in that case there will be plus VDC by 2 output across the load and if sine less than triangle then S2 is on and S1 is off so in that case there will be minus VDC by 2 output so let us try to draw this and then I have discussed like if S1 uh, if sine is greater than triangle then S1 is on and S2 is off so output will be VD plus VCDC by 2 and if sine is less than triangle then S2 is on and S1 is off so output will be minus VDC by 2 so here from this to this region we can say sine is less than triangle so there will be minus VDC by 2 output minus VDC by 2 output and from here to here it is greater than triangle so there will be plus VDC by 2 output and from this region in this region triangle is greater so there will be minus VDC by 2 output and during this to this sine is greater than triangle so there will be plus VDC by 2 
output and in this region there is minus VDC by 2 output so that is how we can have pulse width modulation and here it is again plus VDC by 2 output now here it is negatively triggered so now there will be the sign is negatively greater than this so it will be minus VDC by 2 output and here it will be plus VDC by 2 output So in this region again negative so it is minus VDC by output and here it will be plus VDC by the output and in this region it is again so see ultimately if we compare triangular and sine wave it is what generating pulse width modulated wave so if we see the resultant of this wave then that looks like sign so which we can plot it here like so this is what similar to sign and this is what we can control by controlling operation of this two switch s1 and s2 and this is what pulse width modulated sign output and which is what we are generating from uh, inverter where we are modulating pulse width by deciding triggering timing of switch S1 and S2 so this is how we can use single phase but this is what applicable for three phase even so even we can do it for three phase where there will be controlling which is what required to have switch on and off for S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5 and S6 so that is how we need to control for three phases that circuit is little complex but we can understand it with respect to one phase and that is how we can control it. Thank you.